Hey, Geminis. How are y'all? It's me, Wes. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. <laughs> I always want to make sure I throw that in there. So you can just know that you love. Because sometimes going through this journey, baby, we feel like we are not loved. We feel like there's nobody out here. So, um... Gemini, I was meditating on you guys' energy, and I'm picking up on some disappointment, some regret, a lot of the Four of Cups energy. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. Like, seriously. You know, give yourself credit for the accomplishments and how far you have come. And, you know, when you get overwhelmed, y'all know I'm, what I'm going to say, meditation. Find you a zen, your space that you can just run to when you feel like you are just exhausted or it's just too much for you but you know invest in yourself you definitely have like a lot of haters from the past not happy about uh choices that you have made for this choosing yourself but this time you know make sure that you are really investing in yourself everything that you have uh, prayed for, cried for, got mad over, worked hard for, your spirit guides want you to have it and it's right there. And so these opportunities that you feel like you missed out on, I feel like were pathways that were leading down to destruction. And so, you know, rejection is protection. And I will always say that just because when we are headed down a path and we think we're going the right way, ooh, we get stopped because you never know who's in your energy or what's moving forward. And so, um, take the time to invest in yourself. What things make you happy, Gemini? What What do you want? What are you expecting to get out of life? Where are you expecting to be this time next year? What are your goals? What are some accomplishments? What's going to help you move forward? Also, too, somebody definitely um, needs to tap into their emotions as well as um, I know at this particular time, Gemini, you could be feeling overly sensitive. A lot of your enemies are starting to project on you, um, how they feel and, you know, blase, blase. So if you are one that's around the family, uh, -uh somebody's grandmother is here, um, like standing on business. They do not play about you. And they're making sure these family members stay away from you. But also, too, with that type of protection, Spirit is also one wanting you to um, pay attention to your emotions, especially um, when you're around individuals as well as a way. And you know, how do you do that? Doing these therapeutic things, making sure that you are balanced, tapping into your chakras, things like that, making sure your uh, uh, chakras are in alignment uh, from your soul assignment. Um, reading, singing, singing, humming, that definitely open up your throat chakra, doing therapeutic things that help, um, help with open up the rest of your chakras and stuff like that. Um, coloring, singing, dancing, uh, painting with a twist, gardening, whatever you like to do, Gemini, but definitely invest in yourself and take your time and be patient. Don't rush the process. I'm also picking up energy like someone is feeling like it's too late. It's never too late. Your journey is your journey. And so moving forward along your journey, you know, focus on what do you like? What makes you happy? Um, also to consider monetizing things that you like to do. How can you uh, monetize from that? How can you um, grow in that area and stuff like that? You have a lot of stuff that you're good at, Gemini. So definitely, it's time to put that out to the world. Also, tell your story. You know, some of y'all have been through a lot of stuff. And right now, you feel stressed and stuff. Because, you know, you feel like you're taking on the whole world. And it could feel like you're losing your mind. You're not, baby. It's just really, uh, your enemies are pro uh, projecting all of this nonsense and how they feel and how angry they are towards you and so this is why i'm just recommending uh, yes thank you spirit insecure they're letting you know how insecure they are <laughs> seriously and so you know it could be making you feel insecure about moving forward along your journey no 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 no. spirit is um first of all letting you know these gifts that you have secondly Spirit is um, definitely showing you who is in your energy projecting what, you know? So pay attention to that. Um, damn, we look. <laughs> Let me get into this reading, y'all. 
I was picking up on a lot. Mm-hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's after you because they know that you are getting ready to go on this winning streak, you know? Yeah. So, Knight of Cups, you do have a lot of people that are just going to see what you're doing. They're, they've noticed a shift with you because I'm, I'm picking up some hermit mode, but um, you're just kind of really spending more time to yourself but while you're spending time some of y'all could like be watching tv kept up on soap operas things like that <laughs> which is okay but also too while you're in this hermit mode take some time out for yourself get outside put your feet in the grass shoot you know scoot your feet and stuff do like this in the grass because that helps you get grounded sunbathing standing in the rain uh poetry things that you like you know if you're into the arts and crafts and stuff do your diy projects if you can draw get out there and start scribbling doodling shit you know things that's gonna calm you down but also to stimulate your mind um yeah see you're gonna become this queen of pentacles or this king of pentacles you have always been destined for greatness and gemini you gotta remember that baby Somebody's worried about funds. Mm-mm. You the magician. Two of Pentacles. And this is that chaos energy back and forth. Cause um, like I said, somebody could be worried about money and time and all this and snack. This is your journey. There's no rush. There's absolutely no rush. You could feel like, oh, I need to do this. I don't have enough time. I gotta get here. I got no. Be patient with yourself. Calm down, relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do that. Make sure you are breathing and being patient with yourself. Taking your time, calming down. There's absolutely no rush. This is your life. This is your path, your goals, your ambition, your drive. you moving forward. So there's absolutely no rush. But also, too, with these bumpy emotions back here. I heard you solid. <laughs> All right, now, Gemini. Uh, back here with these emotions, that's just the chaos in the background and stuff like that. Because what I really feel right here with this uh, Two of Pentacles, you're trying to level up and see how you're going to move forward. But... This chaos in the background, that's a distraction. And the enemy is always going to be there to distract you. Temptation is a mother. So, yeah. But see, focus on change. The sacrifices. What do you need to change? What do you need to sacrifice so you can move forward and reach your goals and stuff like that? See, yeah. five of pentacle some of y'all could be uh i heard somebody's grieving also too with this five of pentacles um you could be experiencing some loss but see also too those of you that are used to giving you're going through this financial reset and i have to say it like that a finite a financial reset because you are always giving 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 and, and when you don't come out this situation, spirit going to break you down to where it's no money left. And I'm just being honest with you. And, you know, if you've gotten to that point and you feeling like this stuck energy, this eight of swords, like you just have nothing to offer. No, you have so much to offer. You give too much. Spirit wants you to give to yourself because if there's no more money, you have no choice but to focus on yourself. So instead of getting to this point, start now, start today. I always say start now. Sometimes, you know, we're like, mm, I'll do that tomorrow. No, I'll start now. Start now. Because if you start now, you'll be focused on it. And you'll wake up tomorrow and you're like, shit, I can do that again. I got it. Boom, boom, boom. You start knocking it out every day. But if you say, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow come. Then some other stuff's going to get hit. You know, you're going, like, oh, damn, I didn't even get to do such and such today. No, do it now. Do it now. And so this is why you are in hermit mode, you know, so you can pull back and reserve your energy. Also, too, for those of you that are like to be around your family and friends and stuff like that, don't. This is not the time. These are the same people that are pulling on you extra, extra hard because they've noticed a shift in your energy. I heard greetings. Mm-hmm. 
See, with this Nine of Pentacles, this speaks of leveling up your spiritual strength. You still got a Gemini. Whether you are going through this um, financial um, <laughs> loss. But Spirit, like I said, wants you to call judgment on who is around you. Focus on your happiness and your peace. Laugh some more. Get out. Play. Get in that kid energy. And start just... Shoot. Do a back bend. <laughs> do a flip. Something, you know. Um, get you back to that playful, happy energy. You know? Yeah. Because some of y'all are fighting battles with yourselves as well as others and stuff like that. And so it's kind of hard to cipher where all this negativity and shit is coming from. But make sure you are also speaking goodness into yourself make sure you are kind to yourself you know that really takes a toll on you when you're saying oh my gosh you can't do it and, and also too you're around people that are insecure so they're projecting that negativity on top of you and, and and as well as you can feel like damn i'm not enough or i don't have it things like that so no spirit definitely wants you to take the time to get balanced because when you get balanced and i was seeing the justice card you're going to receive justice. You're going to be able to tell these negative energies, fathers in your family and close friends. And then also, too, this is going to help you along your journey. Because once you start leveling up and you get into that King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy, baby, you're going to have to have your energy balance to cipher through these, these energies. Because I'm telling you, just like you want to help Gemini, you're going to be put in a position to where you help others. But this is the right energy. You're going to be helping energies that actually need your help. You know, things like that. See, peace. This is that peace, that temperance that I was talking about. <laughs> Baby, once you get to this point, I heard Guru, you're going to take off. And look what's poking out. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. What else there? The lovers is popping out again. Look. Some of y'all could be in some karmic ass relationships. That moon card is popping out. I'm dealing with people that don't mean you any good. So balance. Six of Pentacles giving and receiving. So for those of you that are in, in, in relationships. Make sure... That your, your spouse is giving to, to you like you are giving to them. If not, you know what time it is. And this could be that back and forth energy. Like, do I stay and work this out? No. Your needs are not being met. You are important, Gemini. And you have to remember that. And it's not only relationships for this a spouse, but friendships too. Whether it's your family, dealing with them, or any other friends. And anybody else that comes along towards you in your journey. And this is why Spirit is wanting you to shift your perspective. Thank you, Spirit. Empress. Mm -hmm. See, this Eight of Swords is popping out again because somebody wants you to overthink some stuff. They want you stuck in your head. This page of Pentacles speaks of new discoveries, you finding out who's in your energy. Because while you're busy at working on yourself, moving forward, you're starting to pick up on these things. I heard clairvoyance. Thank you, Spirit. Clairaudience. Pay attention to how your body reacts to these individuals. Some of y'all could be experiencing like a lot of body heat and that tension. Your emotions is already high. But as soon as you get those balanced, you're going to know where all this hate and shit is coming from. Mm hmm. See, that's that hermit mode. Also, too, like I said earlier, somebody's grandmother is here strongly making sure that you are moving forward. So you can notice your energy shifting like, damn, I do not want to do this. But you just get up anyways and do it. That spirit pushing you. <laughs> King of Cups. Somebody is definitely in their feelings about moving forward. Mm -hmm. What else? 
else. Yeah, because see, this grandmother energy is trying to protect you from all this bullshit. It's five of wands. And keep reminding yourself, you are the prize. You deserve to be happy. Tower. You starting to be selfish with your energy. I'm liking that. Pull back. Mm-hmm. Also, too, start speaking. Whether you are just talking out loud to yourself, talking to God about your problems, but start speaking about your situations. It's gonna help you heal. You're just gonna restart um you're gonna start too receiving messages about uh people doing spell work. It's not to scare you. Don't be alarmed. But once you get to this uh, point of your life where you are balancing natural energy, you'll start experiencing more of your gifts will be heightening. And so you're going to be able to really cipher through the seven of cups type of energy. All that BS, all that the old, those illusions and stuff. Also to make sure y'all are researching information for this like staying high vibrational, things like that. I do have a lot of stuff on my community page. Uh, for these fruits and just affirmations you know just some good shit <laughs> foods and stuff like that yeah because see somebody's trying to hold you back nine of wands because they know you're about to take off three of wands recognition and reward expansion somebody's speaking of traveling they want to move further mm -hmm. this seven of cups too probably got a job offer yeah told you everything that you want it's like right here but spirit saying before you take this leap and come over here i need you to heal anything else spirit i heard let it go yep let it go emperor at the bottom emperor at the bottom of the deck make sure y'all are also tapping into both of your masculine sides as well as your feminine side because that's definitely going to help you along your journey whether you are male or female tap into both anything else spirit all right the hyphen out here see at this time and this is why i recommend you stay in this hermit mode because you have this hyphen you're going to be leading people. You come in peace. Also, too, like I said earlier, be mindful of energies coming towards you. They want to know what you know. They want some information. They want some insight. And you have this inside information that they are seeking. So, you know, as far as you talking and communicating, they're trying to get any little information they can. Be mindful of that. Yeah, because see, these checkerboards is being pointed out to me. I'm not going to speak about this checkerboard, but yeah. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I hope this helped. Take it easy. Remember to be patient with yourself. Don't stress out. And I know it's easier said than done, but you got this. You got this. Put you... A, a, it's right on a piece of paper i got this i can and i will and stick it to your wall hell stick it on the corner of your tv wherever <laughs> wherever so you can see it to remind yourself that you got this you are in charge you are the boss you are the star you are important too and you deserve to be loved exactly the type of love that you put out so make sure that you are happy with whatever you are doing moving forward on your journey make make being happy your top priority gemini and then you will start reaping the benefits of everything that god has set up for you and and planned for you and the things that you've been wanting you'll be ready for it all right gemini i love y'all so much stay prayed up and protect your energy see y'all next time bye